but here here's the deal their bar is where that is i'm going to put probably most everything is going to be on their bar and their bar is a real tender place it's a little porous bone that's got a little bit of soft tissue on the on the top of it or that surrounds it it's very the whole thing is real delicate their mouth is delicate and we're all in my opinion meat included we do too much but if you go in there and you cut that you you cut their lip or you cut their tongue you cut their bar whatever that day you're done made a design that it makes it real hard in order to cut one of them or to bruise them or to break them his his if you pull his lip open and look there's a spot there where that the bit sits on it and that's his bars his tongue is sitting above those bars so my whole objective is to leave that tongue alone as much as i possibly can and this is a very good example of it we have a real long radius right here this is so if it comes over to the side it's not going to get on his tongue if we we want to make this as as comfortable I think as you can do it, you, you go on the website or you or you come to the trailer, you go to somebody's booth, whatever, tour show or whatever, go to NRS, whatever. They're going to be very similar. The reason being is that we don't have a lot of, to work with. The horse's mouth is not very wide. There's not a lot of room in there to go to tricking it up, to go to, to, to uh, an idea in a metal shop somewhere doesn't translate to a horse's mouth. It, this is what this is about is is what a horse has told me over the years and what I mean by I'm saying he told me is that I put something wrong in his mouth he reared up and fell over backwards tried to kill me he told me right there I didn't need anybody else to tell me the main reason that this looks similar is it takes an incremental amount of change in this metal to make a huge amount of change in that horse in the way that he accepts that bridle or he doesn't accept it and the best way to go we just have to ask him so we're going to we're going to ask him is this enough bridle or it's not enough bridle and as you go along you begin you educate yourself more on bridle bits you'll start to understand it i have a philosophy about bridle bits and i need to make money just like everybody else but there's a lot of things i won't do and i don't and i don't really care who it would be that would ask me to do it but i'm not going to hurt one of them and I'm not, I don't want one of them to hurt you, and I'm not going to hurt one of them. And you can hurt them so bad so quick with the wrong piece of equipment that you develop a, a distrust. You develop a, a bad relationship, and that horse don't trust you after you've hurt him like that. So I tell folks all the time, don't jerk. Don't jerk. Don't go down one bridle rein, because he'll never forgive you for that. And it's the same way getting into here too tight and hurting them. What we're trying to do here is to is to develop a positive relationship between you and that horse. We want, we want him to do what you ask him to do, and, and we don't want you to be confused. We're, we're trying every way in the world to look at this bit as a tool. If you look at this as a tool, if, and, and the, the, the real truth about it is, is a half inch socket fits a half inch nut. That's the only, that's the only way that it'll work. Bridle bits should be looked at tools instead. There's too much, uh, there's too much romanticism about it best way for you that i found for you to figure out how severe it is if you'll take this right here and put it over your shin like so put a curb on it pull it up snug and have one of your friends pull on this shank and what i'm telling you about your shin the reason that we do your shin is if you think about it your shin and that horse's bar is very similar there's you've got a bone there on your shin there's just a little bit of of, of hide and meat on it that's the same way his bar is and so you're going to get a similar effect that's the same thing that you're feeling on your shin is what that is what he's feeling in his mouth if you if you want to know instead of asking somebody is this severe put it on yourself and pull on it you'll find out pretty quick how severe it is